Scientists in Texas have made an amazing discovery. We're talking about a mega shark, 300 million years old. They found this fossil 26 feet long. Nick, this is one of the biggest discoveries when it comes to sharks. They're very, very excited. What, how do you feel about this huge, I'm huge shark? I'm so happy that I'm alive now and not when this thing was alive back then. But no, I mean, sharks have been in the news a yeah. lot lately. We had a few attacks in Hawaii recently, unfortunately, and as well as uh, even here in yeah. California, Newport Beach was closed down because they, they, they saw a rogue hammerhead shark looking for something around here. Um, but, but this, on the other hand, this is just terrifying. And this is unlike anything we've ever seen. I mean, Texas. Uh, Texas, of all places, they got the biggest slurpees. Of course, they're going to have the biggest shark <laughs> fossils. Well, Texas used to be an ancient sea, so it was covered with water. These sharks used to thrive in the region, and in the driveway that was left behind, they found this fossil, uh, as, not as big as the megalodon, that used to be 60 feet long, mm -hmm. but way older. We're talking about dinosaurs are 260 million years old. We're talking about 300 million years old. These Jesus guys Christ. precede the dinosaurs. They're huge. They they make the, the, the common white shark, Gray white shark seem like a little tiny shrimp, man. These, these are yeah. crazy, 25% larger than, than your average white shark today. And they were roaming free. Now they're trying to date exactly the, the, the period of time, but they know that this is at least 300 million years old. Um, they were alive during this period called the Carboniferous mm -hmm. uh, period where most of the earth was still covered in water. Uh, but it's surprising how we can still find these elements and get so much information of one of the animals that for me is one of the least understood in the animal kingdom because many people is afraid and they hate on the sharks, yeah. but they are just in their natural habitat. And we go into the water and we blame them for the attacks. There's, there, it is least likely for you to die of a shark attack than from flying on an airplane. Right. So the, the, the fear of sharks is kind of unfounded and, and Right. I mean, it's sad to see, but I'm glad to see the discoveries. That maybe, you know, we have a full frame picture of it, how massive it was and how much of a shark already looked 300 million years ago. Well, yeah, and another thing, not to mention how overfished they are and, and how yeah. many uh, species of shark are going endangered. Now, look, before we sit here and say, you know, this thing lived so long ago, we have to understand that we know so little about our own oceans and the bo what's down there. We don't know anything. Anything. We know more about the moon, uh, we know more about Mars than we know about the bottom of our ocean. So there can be some crazy shit like this still swimming around. We just haven't found it yet because it doesn't come up, um, you know, it doesn't come up high enough for us to actually be able to yeah. find it because we know that we can't go down all the way. The, di the diversity that there is in the oceans and the amount of species that haven't been discovered is amazing. Uh, one good point about this story, Nick, is the fact that they compare this fossil mm -hmm. to another famous shark fossil that were uh, found in Scotland, and they seem to be part of the same family, giving food to a new theory where they say that the sharks were very, very uh, evolved in their exploring. So they were able to swim really, really big lengths of the planet and disperse through it and stay from the same species, which is something that they didn't believe it happens. Again, there was a lot less uh, predators at the time. There was a lot less diversity, so they were freely moving around. But I'm very excited. I love these discoveries. 300 million year old fossil. That's just in itself amazing that we are able to recoup that. Hopefully we'll know more about this. They are still doing more research on these pieces. They found a bunch of fossilized teeth. They found many, many different parts of different specimens. And we will keep you updated if they found any new developments. Please, in the meantime, share your thoughts below in the comment section. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV too.